thanks again for this nice uh, platform uh, opportunity to present on this nice platform where we are having people from different background because that's very important and so i will be basically talking about uh, the integration of uh, ai boards which have all kinds of capabilities which we can think about and different kind of shapes and forms uh, uh, even virtual or physical boards and uh, how how they are uh, being part of our day to day life or the society and uh, basically what's the way of uh, making them more integrated uh, and then what are the challenges and what are the benefits so i wanted to say many things but uh, i will be simply providing some very top level highlights and then uh, we have our i think interaction session later on as well as panel so we can talk uh, further more in more detail okay. yes. yes so i am amit kumar pande and uh, uh, i have a phd in robotics and ai and i have all these affiliations some from past some from present so i will not go in detail <laughs> but uh, i have been serving as the chief scientist of uh, uh, softbank robotics uh, uh, and then i was the president and the chief scientist of uh, hansen robotics uh, uh, currently i am engaged uh, in uh, being ai then art park so all these you can see that uh, i have been at the interface of um, industry academics and end user uh, communities uh, through community integration and development and building as well so uh, we and i have seen that how robots are evolving how how they are uh, uh, getting used in different sectors what are the feedback uh, people used to give even verbal feedback just instantaneous feedback and those things are very interesting because uh, they this type of things tell us that uh, uh, perhaps uh, many things are not intuitive as we might have been thinking once we are developing a robot or, or their behavior so that's the message which i will be giving at the end as well but let us uh, see somewhat the meaning of sentimental uh, and uh, almost uh, in all dictionary we are seeing that there is some relation with emotions and feelings and that's what uh, let us keep the context here for for this particular uh, uh, part of the session okay so uh, again giving from user perspective uh, the very high level input which um, uh, we can summarize is that they want ai boards to be more information rich more intelligent uh, and then uh, reliable as well as adaptive so these are very interesting feedback like uh, even we have to define that what is intelligence and how how to benchmark that to so that it is more intelligent but this is direct uh, verbal feedback we used to get uh, and um, we can see like if uh, if there is a boat which is just talking in its own language perhaps uh, it is not very much uh, useful uh, so that's why there is a need of having multi modal interaction including verbal and non verbal clues and so once we will think about sentiment aware boards basically they might express sentiments and uh, they might understand sentiments and they might create even sentimental expectations in the user uh, like here uh, uh, perhaps because of the shape and size uh, but uh, but uh, not having the understanding about what uh, boat is trying to say or interact uh, so there is this type of expand, expand expectation which might sometime mismatch uh, with with the behavior of the robot even it can provoke sentiments <laughs> and uh, it can uh, even satisfy some of the sentiments as well as might reflect some sentiments and uh, again there there can be many uh, different ways which we can think that uh, how uh, we can see the whole bubble of uh, sentiment and uh, the interesting thing is that there are different kind of robots and uh, they are deployed in different use cases uh, and in different manners and uh, this is just one representation for a particular use case of a particular robot but uh, they can rearrange uh, depending on the use case and uh, and and the scenario and and the capabilities we are willing to highlight so let us uh, watch this video if possible He's a lolly 
I'll come and teach you. Do you want that, my friend? I am the only I am teaching. You want one more teacher? Huh? You want one more teacher? Yeah, but you, you, you give me your difficult questions. Maybe he might think that I'm a baby and just give me easy questions. <laughs> So this is one of the direct feedback we can get from the direct user, just uh, interacting with uh, robots for a few minutes and then there is some ex expectation and uh, attachment and perhaps a kind of sentiment uh, that uh, there might be some understanding about the emotion or the state of the child and then the behavior of the robot will be accordingly uh, crafted or, uh, or accordingly adoptive. So, and uh, then we can even think about uh, some physical support, providing uh, this kind of robots, uh, even assisting people to work, but in an adaptive manner, but again, understanding somehow the needs. And that obviously uh, is the way is that having physical contact, but somehow representing the psychological uh, requirements as well. Uh, and then the robots should be adopting. So these are, Again, simply huge cases which I am highlighting and uh, it is not necessarily that uh, we have all these kind of technologies which are working and uh, we can make uh, all those robots just, just go uh, and then serve uh, at the moment uh, in, in a more generic manner. Okay. नमस्ते मुझे इस कार्यक्रम में आमंत्रित करने के लिए धन्यवाद सो अगेन देयर इज एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन गोइंग ऑन मेकिंग अवतार रोबोट्स फॉर टेली हेल्थ केयर और अवतार फॉर नर्स एंड अगेन द आईडिया इज दैट इट्स अ प्रोजेक्ट इन आर्ट पार्क इन इंडिया वेयर द एजेंट द यूजर द ऑपरेटर बेसिकली कैन uh tele transport uh, its uh, own emotion its expression in in the way to have a more engaging interaction and perhaps uh, perhaps a simulation of uh, sentimental uh, in interaction with the people on the other side and if we will go on the virtual Buy anything at disneyland i bought a mickey mouse pin at merlin's shop it reminds me of the sensor that my inventor gave me that senses loneliness. It beeped very loudly the other day and found a person looking lost eating a sandwich. I took him swimming in a lake and he felt better. Oh, your inventor reminds me of my dad who just passed away. Oh, so sorry. Are you okay? Not really. We were very close. I am very sad to hear. Do you want me to listen or cheer you up? Well, tell me a joke. So again, here uh, we can try to somehow understand the emotion and sentiment of the person and then the craft, the behavior of the robot accordingly uh, to, uh, to have the engaging interaction as well as the supporting role which, which we want. So again, as I mentioned, it is simply for illustration purpose and there are interesting use cases we all can think about. But again, the challenge will be all of these, like how to create this sentiment aware boards. And there are many interesting R&D challenges, even to how to make them express, how to under make them understand, create expectation or even provoke some sentiments or satisfy or reflect. And uh, this is where a bigger community building is needed uh, because once we think about the real applications of, uh, of this type of machines or uh, characters, the first impression once you deploy this to the user is coming from their appearance and the behavior. And uh, that is basically shaping the expectation of the user. And uh, those expectations are really defining the relationship which uh, will be being built uh, by this uh, uh, human and uh, machine interaction. 
So there are many interesting challenges in terms of design uh, that how they should be looking like, what should be the shape and size. Uh, and then may, as I mentioned, many of those might not be just uh, easy to define based on intuition of, of the developer uh, or, of, or of a small group of people. It needs again, right set of people the, and expertise working together. And simply from the behavioral side, what should be the computational model and the intelligence for understanding the situations, crafting the interaction and as well as learning and adaptation. And equally important is the performance. Uh, it should be running in the real environment uh, with the real people. Uh, and uh, with uh, the right level of uh, delay, like uh, even the interaction should not have uh, delay, which will uh, simply close the loop and the right level of autonomy. So these, these are again challenges which needs a higher level of technology readiness uh, of any such system to, to go to the real uh, application and go back to the society to work uh, and to exist there. But how to do this? Uh, because we yet don't have the definition of what should be the right behavior of the board's uh, uh, decision-making behavior even at the emotional level or sentimental level and whose sentiment should be the priority. Like we simply done a very small group of online survey that what should be the priority of the robot uh, on the social accountability or uh, on owner's command or owner's privacy. We don't have like a very definite answer. So like similar, what should be the social responsibility of, of this type of system and uh, whose sentiment in, in the sense that uh, who should be exposed or not. So this type of things, I think we will be having, uh, uh, we have to get more engaged uh, as a community with the right kind of uh, stakeholders to understand like uh, for autonomous car, there have been uh, many online surveys which were, were done and is being done. Uh, just to find answers of some uh, questions which are uh, not very straightforward. Then how to achieve this sentimental boards? Very important is this interdisciplinary collaboration, which uh, I think we all know and uh, which have been also reinforced uh, in the first talk. And that includes uh, people from AI and cognition, psychology, arts and creativity, sociology, engineering science background, animation, as well as policy makers, uh, strategy makers, regulators, all these kind of people uh, should be coming together and then the create the right kind of ecosystem, which is very much needed. And uh, again, which you can see that uh, right skills are, are the key. Like if we want to create uh, a mixed water tap, we can uh, and this is on the right, what you are seeing and that we want something like this, which is able to regulate uh, hot and cold water, uh, depending on the requirement and uh, uh, have the right flow of the water. Uh, but if some of these aspects are missing, uh, if it is not done in a right way, uh, we can get something like this. So it is still trying to uh, fulfill the requirements uh, somewhat regulating the um, water, but uh, I think it is not going to be very much useful uh, and sustainable. And uh, so it's very important uh, that uh, how this type of collaboration should be crafted and what will be the right specification interface and level we have to keep in mind always. And that uh, is not enough alone, the interdisciplinary collaboration. We have to also involve um, different stakeholders uh, from industry, from academics, end user, policy makers towards creating the bigger ecosystem and, and uh, the awareness. That's basically the need. And uh, serious technology transfer and information transfer is also very important uh, because uh, the technologies are being developed on, on different parts uh, of the ecosystem. And uh, it is not that uh, it should be only from one way or one direction but it should be a kind of continuous uh, flow in a loop. And uh, human-centered approach is again the key. We have to think about human, the people, the society. And then using that, we have to define the purpose of developing any of these machines or boards. 
uh, and uh, that's where again the individual and uh, and other uh, uh, communities are coming to co-define and co-design the purpose and even the role of, of this type of systems. So sentiment enhancing enhancing uses are uh, for many many cases. I I am sure you might be aware about many more than this, but they can help for uh, cases in social isolation cases, provide physical support, boosting person's self-respect, supporting better remote presence, supporting entertainment plus education, and why not to better understand us, the human? How? By being present or connecting, by not being judgmental, by adopting to individual needs, by empowering to be independent and telepresence, and uh, also supporting this uh, mechanism, which is basically learning by teaching. And uh, there are already research which are ongoing on um, uh, like a better understanding of human behavior or, uh, or even using this type of machines for uh, therapy, even for training therapist uh, for, for different cases. So there are really very interesting uh, huge cases which we can think about once, once we are doing things right and collaborating in the right manner and understanding the requirements uh, in the way uh, these machines should be working. So in the future, uh, this type of systems uh, will be like intelligent sentiment aware boards, which will be socially intelligent because they will be part of us, the society. They will be combining the powers of uh, human society, mach machines, AI arts and creativity. And they will coexist with us for us, empowering us for our better life experience, giving us more time and space for creativity, which we all are struggling uh, these days because we are uh, a kind of self-exploiting ourselves. So we, it should be a thing of past. Uh, 